I was diagnosed in October 2010 with stage 4 metastatic breast cancer and one of the first resources that my oncologist gave me was Miles Pratt. When you first walk in you feel comfortable, you feel like a part of a group of people that are all working to get better. I would describe it as a place that really cares and really can help you on any situation you have. I'm coming here for over 10 years and um, I really love it, love the people here, they've been great and uh, it's such a camaraderie of, of survivors and people who are going through cancer. It's, it's a great support system for us. Your trust is always in their hands. They're never going to let you down. They're always going to be the top one to just go to you and help you and say, we got you, we got your back. They help you, they're very nice and they help support people with cancer. Like they help you, they're just a hop, skip and a jump away. You pick up the phone and then you call them and then they will really help you. We're a family, a family within an organization. We're a, we're a family in ourselves. If you're donating, it's going to a good cause, I promise. Because even though you think that you might have everything that you need, if you just come and give it a chance, you'll learn that there's always something else to be learned. The things that they offer are strengthen our body and strengthen our souls also. Getting together with all the other survivors and, you know, um, being able to talk about moving forward. Um, we all have a very positive outlook. And I think it's just a great place to come and be with people who have walked in your shoes. I can only say that this is one of the greatest things uh, that happened in my life. And I would do anything that they would ask me to do. I like it, I love it, and I want more of it. Miles Pred Cancer Services has helped my family tremendously. Um, I'm a single mother. I have four children. They range in age, um, teenage, down to my youngest was one when I was diagnosed. And they have helped us with school supplies, which was tremendous during that back to school time, especially with four kids. Um, they have come through with um, Christmas gifts during the Christmas season, which was phenomenal. I particularly remember the first Christmas that I was a single mom and on my own. And um, I think the only presents under the tree were for Miles Pratt. I would definitely say if you have had any kind of cancer, please think about going to Miles Perret. There are so many services that are offered and uh, you know, my, my basic one is, is the exercise program, but they offer so many different things. Um, I think my first wig came from here, and, and that's a wonderful service. This is like a huge benefit for everyone around here who has cancer to be able to come free of charge, work out, you know, get whatever they need. Um, especially, it was helpful for me in the beginning because they gave us a little gift bag and inside of that bag they had like a toothbrush and toothpaste and it was all soft and you know not minty and because once on chemo he couldn't take the minty one he has to use something like bubble gum or you know the milder flavors and I didn't know anything about that they gave you know uh, cream for mouth sores and things that they get which I didn't expect at all and we ended up using it all. They helped us with our my school supplies, they helped me with a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm just so thankful, and I don't know what I would have done without Miles Perret. You can get great support from the staff uh, about your journey that you're taking through cancer. They have a lot of information, you know, people are scared and don't know what to expect, you know, when they're going through treatment, and there's a library of books here that they can read, and people they can talk to. And it's just a, an all-around, good focused uh, plan for people who are going through cancer. Because she was a baby, we always knew that it was like a, a friendship that we built with the, the people at Moss Perret so that we didn't feel like we were so alone while we were going through um, 
her, her cancer treatments? I know it's geared mostly for survivors, but it can also help the, the family answer their questions, help with resources, it helped me with transportation, uh, made recommendations on how I can schedule my appointments with the medical people, even the people that are not directly associated with, they've got connections where they, they can get what you need. The way that they've helped me personally was the support group. I didn't want to go to a support group at first because I honestly thought it was going to be a bunch of women crying about breast cancer and I didn't want to walk into that because I felt like I was kind of on the verge of that myself. So it wasn't until the very end of my treatment that I finally came to Miles Perrette for the support group meeting in particular. And when I walked into the room, I walked into this large group of women who were laughing and I, I literally said I think I'm in the wrong place <laughs> I'm here for the breast cancer support group meeting and they said come on in you're in the right place everybody is willing to help you out in whatever way you need whether it's for directions or assistance or you know just want to know other people's names or um, I would encourage anybody and everybody that has had about with cancer to come here and see what it's about I feel it's made me stronger physically. I've been coming for, to Pilates for over 10 years and um, twice a week. And I feel the exercise and has made me stronger so that when I do have to go through treatments and things, that it's really my physical body is stronger to deal with it. If someone walks into the fitness center, I will feel very comfortable talking to them and trying to make them feel welcome. And, um, and just encouraging them and telling them that I, I really think it's going to make them feel better and they'll be part of a community that they've, you know, they haven't met these people before, but they'll be instant friends. I have a lot of friends in there and we joke and we cut up and, you know, some people don't, when they say you have cancer, it's depressing. When you walk in those doors, depression does not even come to mind. We're talking and joking and we give the, the director a hard time sometimes when we, we're supposed to be exercising and we, we're joking with each other. But it's all it's all the, uh, the frame of mind. The Wellness Center is um, it's a comfortable place to be. And I know that all of us who are exercising and who are here had had a cancer of some sort and uh, it's just nice to be with people and uh, to hear about their experiences. I like that and I like the people that are always so gentle and kind and um, easy and, and, and that felt especially good. Keep on doing it. Don't ever stop because this is such a great program. Since I am stage four, I'm, I'm never going to be finished with treatment. So a lot of um, groups, organizations kind of do your initial treatment and it's okay, you're done. And uh, Miles Pratt, they I have someone call and check on me all the time and say, just check it in on you, how you doing? And just offering the services where I'm like, well, you know, we've kind of been doing this for a while. And they're like, no, you're still a client here and you know let's get your kids to the baseball game again and I'm like okay so I, I do appreciate that a lot. Even now years later we still are part of Miles Perrette because of the, the way that, that they've supported us and we still even though she's cancer free that we still need that support system there for us. You just think of the positive stuff see I am going to make it. I am going to beat this cancer, and I will stay on top, strong, powerful. And then when you finish, you're going to feel like you just conquered the world, you know, rebuild, redesign, and reclaim. Anytime somebody, we try to help each other, uh, encourage each other, anything that, you know, we, we do, we pray for each other, anything. It is the best program there is and that I uh, I feel very um, certain about that. 
I would say that they are very nice. They help you when you need them. They're always there for you, and and you're always there for them. I've I've experienced it all coming all these years. You know, this is the only thing that I have ever stayed with for this long of a time. And there's a reason because I keep coming back here because it's just a great organization and it gives me what I need as a cancer survivor. I, I try traditional uh, cancer support groups and it wasn't for me. This place was for me.